And these are my 2023 planners. So apparently, last year was the year of try all the planners. <laughs> I'm not even sure I know what order these go in, if I'm perfectly honest with you. Um, that's separate. Let's see. What what month? What month does this start on? June. March. Oh, apparently this does have January in it. Okay, and there's a week's. That one is definitely the end of the year. I don't even I don't even remember this one being in my box. Okay, so I think this is where we started. So with another Hobonichi Weeks and a Hobonichi Cousin. This is apparently where I started. So my 2023 Hobonichi Weeks, which I think I got this one because I liked the piggy cover and the pink and I wanted to fill it up with more stickers and stuff. So I did make some dividers that flapped over the pages. <laughs> I was going to record my spending. That didn't work. Um, so yeah, we've got monthlies, which I just decorated pretty. And then didn't, because I switched to another planner. Because that's what I do. It's who I am as a person. So after the monthlies, I did weeklies. I did, I did like these. These are cute. These are very cute. So yeah, we went to weeklies. Uh, messy. But not everything in here. I'm wondering when I stopped using this. I'm trying... <laughs> ah! Apparently Posey helped me decorate that week. Trying to remember when I stopped using it. And I did really make it messy. Like, look at, look at the size of those stickers. It's ridiculous. Greg has COVID. Um, April. And lots of... Yeah, Nat Posey has COVID. Um, and then I didn't really sticker much. And I did try and change how I did things again, but it just wasn't working in conjunction with another planner so apparently I did I did fill it out a little bit until well no that's that doesn't count that's just meals that doesn't count so then in the back I did my word of the year well actually here's the oops here's the start I did my December dailies brain dumps and notes Word of the year was connect. Meh, whatever. I don't really think I did that. And then I did a daily like bullet journal style. So we have these stickers, which are very cute. Which has the day and the date. And then I did little check marks and I did daily lists. And I just did daily lists and that was it. And I kept that up for January. I did a January review. Oh. February, I did quite a few in February. Then, apparently I wanted to just brain dump stuff. And then I stopped. So I did it for January and February. I did go day. Then back here, I do have more tabs that I stuck in. So I had orders. Oh, I did like that, that was cute. So I had online orders. Then I had a reading. I only did this to March, so I only read two books, apparently. Then I did K-dramas, <laughs> which again, love this. Might need to take this out and put this in my current weeks. Trackers, which I tried to keep up with, but did not do well. I thought, you know, I'll keep all my trackers in the weeks for the year. And I did February, up to February. And then I had an information page section sorry i was gonna have an information section and i had kids pets info and then nothing i didn't actually put anything in there i did great i just think that last year it wasn't the planner for me to be honest 
yeah, it just wasn't the planner for me this last year. So that went by the wayside. I'm not even sure when I started this or what I was planning to use this for. Because like I say, I completely forgot this existed. It was only when I was getting my planners out. Oh, apparently December I started my sticker a day. Um, I was getting my planners out to do this video. And discovered this. Oh yeah, I was going to do a word a day in lettering. Let's see. Not just for the lettering, but for like the meaning as well. Which was all right, but then, look, I did a week. I maybe did 10 days. <laughs> I was just trying to find a use for those pages, to be honest. Then I had my little vision board. These stickers came from the Bethany Rose, I want to say the advent box, and I just really liked it. So I had my little vision board. And then I was journaling lots of journaling, set up journal pages but didn't use them, which is fine. Sometimes the setting up of the journal page is enough, but apparently I really didn't use them. Stuck some stickers in. But yeah, I didn't do a huge amount. Oh, this is Mizu. I'm going to show you this. I'm, I'm sorry, it's about to be sad. This is Mizu. We adopted him from someone who couldn't keep him anymore. And then we'd only had him for a few months and it turned out he was actually very ill. Um, so he did not last long, but he has got a very special place in my heart, my little Mizu. He was a lovely kitty. Um, yeah. So apparently I just did a lot of not journaling. And then we did journal, ah, here we go. February I journaled children and so I went back and stuck pictures in I just didn't actually journal around it then some more journaling and then pictures more journaling then I stopped and that is actually when I stopped this book and that is because I know that I stopped it in March because I then went back to astrology but this time it was this one, which is an A5 Stalogy, which is massive. But I decided I needed everything in one book. So I didn't do much decorating, but this was my, oh look, Posey took that picture. Yeah, this is my March to May book. Look, I was apparently gonna put my goals page there, but I made my vision board bigger. Well, Oh, I do have, there's stickers. And then, huh. um, I don't know what I was planning on tracking there. Random sticky page, sticky notes page. I wrote some books down. Things that I wanted to read. Okay, dramas that I watched. This is not all of them. This was just in March to May, so in three months. It's terrible. Uh, <laughs> TV CDs. Things I wanted to watch. And then we went into March, which I used the Sterling Ink freebies for every month, I think. And I did my sticker a day. Oh look, COVID again. And then this was like my health journal, meal plan and what I actually ate, reading tracker and TV tracker. Online shopping, random notes, and these were my tracker sticky notes that I used, which I really quite liked that. And that was my actual calendar. And then I did day on two pages, so I had our big time here, to do's and journaling on this page. I know that I kept it up for a little while. I mean, a little while could literally mean two days. Oh yeah. So here's some pictures. So at the end of each week, I did like snapshots of our week. So this is the week that Posey had her hair cut. I'm gonna show you, cause she'll want me to. So she used to have really, really long hair and then she had it all chopped off. And she donated her hair to the Princess Trust and set up a Just Giving as well. It was quite amazing. And it was all her idea. It was quite sweet. Um, so yeah, I actually, I really like this. I'm gonna say this about every single book. I really liked this. More pictures. And then... 
Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I like I like being able to do like the black and then Disney and then just each day was like a different can't turn the page. Entirely different themed thing. And then so I kept that up until quite a while. So then we went into April when again I did a sticker a day. Apparently someone had COVID again. Good God. Oh, it was Povey, Posey that time. <clears throat> Meal plan, food tracker, reading tracker, TV tracker, online orders, uh, forms, and the calendar. And then I went, to, now I stuck sticky notes on with what I did that day, but then I didn't actually journal because I didn't want to. That tends to be what happens with me actually, is I'll decorate, but then not actually do the journaling or add the snapshots or anything. So yeah, I got to the point where I was like, ugh, you know? I think that's what happens. I get to this point where I'm just like, nah, don't want to do this anymore. But hey, tis what it is. Look at all that TV watched. That's pretty much all K dramas. Oh, good bad mother. Um, yeah. So May was the last month I used this. I don't think I did. I didn't update everything again. It's mainly stickers. That's all right. All right. And that was it. So that was March to May. Oh God, I hope you have not been out of focus this whole time. That was March to May. And then in May, June to July, I went back to my old faithful B6 size instead, which I did set up a bit better this time. Look, I actually printed stuff out, stuck stuff in. I made dividers that stuck and tipped them in. Again, books I've read, K-drama, TV show. So I pretty much set this up exactly the same. Oops, oops, forward planning. Ha <laughs> ha spring cleaning, yeah, okay. Um, I need to point out this, this year was like shit. Um, so yeah, most things were a bit pushed to the side, shall we say. Um, so I had my, it was pretty much laid out exactly the same as the A5 one. It's just in a B6. Because I realized giving myself all that space to write was too much. Like I was trying to force myself to keep up with too much. I had a page for each person for things. And then I wanted to use vertical sticker kits. So at the beginning of every week, I printed this out, which is a free printable of vertical sticker, you know, vertical plan, whatever, uh, free printable. Was it a free printable or did I make this myself? I can't remember. I think I did a free printable and then I made mine myself because the free print printable was too big so that I could use a full sticker kit. So that gave me my week overview of what was going on. And then I did what I watched, what I read and what we had for dinner. And then that. So I did that at the beginning of every week. And then I did the two pages again. So I did our day plan and then our journal. And I did snapshots of the week. I did an AM brain dump. And then I did my daily readers, which is from Al-Anon. Then I did a random sticker on like acetate type thing. And then I did it again. And I just really liked being able to use my sticker kits because they're cute. I love sticker kits. So I did that again. Good days, babies. Um, so then I did it with Coffee Monster Co. I still quite liked this. I mean, it was not super useful, <laughs> but you know, cute kit. 
lots of daily journaling. Then, I mean, I did, I fell off again. Like I did my daily pages and my readers and, but like lots of them I've written, not a good day. Not a good day, you know? I think that's the problem. Not a great day. That was my problem. I was not having good days. I was having a lot of not good days. So July was the last time I used this. You can tell because I've still got my tabs on it, which I've just left, to be honest. But I did do my, I did do some bits. <clears throat> then I just stopped using the sticker kits on the sheets because I realized how much it was bulking it up. Like you could barely fit anything in. But I still set up a week. Yeah, I just sort of made messes. Made beautiful messes. And stuck stuff down. Apparently covered things up with a sticky note because it was cute. What month was this? So this was July. So that means that this was the month that we decided Greg wasn't going to be going to work anymore. And he finished in August. So I don't remember where did they, what, what came next? If that was July. <laughs> uh, ah, here we go. Okay. So then after July, we went into August. This is a traveler's company. It's focusing on everything but what I'm actually showing you. This is a traveler's company folder to hold your inserts. So I actually cut down a cousin. It's not a cousin. What is it? The day, oh, what's it called? It's not called a cousin. The day free. I cut it down. And then used it to see if I wanted to use, because I've got quite a few TNs and I've got a few more. Um, and so I set it up like this. So for August, I had a day on each page. So, yeah, I quite like that. But, you know, it wasn't great. Was that August? I said August, didn't I? Yeah, that was August. Okay, and then I used an actual traveler's notebook book for September and I set it up like a bujo and I really liked it with a day to a page. On a weekday, I did two day, two pages to a day. And I did really like it. Then my dad died. So <laughs> that made it less nice. Um, this was like my notes one. And I would do like random brain dumps in here. What I wanted to use. Look at this planner lineup. It's just in. No. Uh, we went to Glasgow for a holiday. And yeah, this was just a big brain dump notebook. And I did set up a another bujo with like eh, the month all the months and then weeklies like in a hobonichi weeks i mean i should have just used a hobonichi weeks but anyway so that was my august september book and then <laughs> apparently i had another cousin um and this is actually how I'm using my cousin now. So this did work. Started this in September. And I divide the week into four sections. So my cousin is for, not back planning, like uh, memory keeping. So I set it up and I write down what I ate. I have a section for, it says crafts and reading. So every week I might do slightly different, but essentially I will track our meals, what crafts I've done, reading, what K-drama I've watched, and anything else we've watched. So I was sort of testing it out in this book. 
can see and I did really like it and I also did my um, daily journaling which I started in September was that oh no that's October was it no <laughs> August September September um, I just have to show you this. Posey had a Goody Atama themed birthday and she had to point out that the sticker looked like a penis. So that was good. Um, yeah, that's September. So I was, I was doing quite a lot, but then, yeah. Yeah. So that was sucky. And then lots and lots of journaling and stickering i i bought a beautiful um scarf i got this card which was lovely so yeah i just use it for journaling i don't worry about making about hitting every day i also trapped my k drama again <laughs> and reading so that was when i was trying that out and that did work this video is going to be so long because I also have these. So this was my uh, A6 and this is where I did my, from September, I did my daily like to-dos. I didn't journal, I just wrote to-dos and I wrote, a, it's like not journaling, I would write like if I had a nap or, you know, that sort of thing. But yeah, basically I just put in what we were doing and to-do lists for the day <clears throat> and I would use like a cute little this week to-do list stick it on the Monday and then spread it out and I was planning on doing this again this year but I didn't last longer than like a week I think <laughs> and the final one no not the final one but the final A6 this was my creative journal I was intending on doing like proper journaling with pretty creative sticking things in until I realized that all I did was stick stuff in. I um yeah I just started sticking things in about that I got so when I got an order from somewhere I would stick the washi sticker in and that's it. I didn't actually, I was going to use it as like a gratitude journal or a junk journal. I wasn't sure, but it was literally, I just stuck things in. And my advent this year, I had a lot of advents again. I took a picture of it every day and stuck them in. See, advents and that's it. That's all I did. I didn't actually do much else. I just did it and I liked it. I liked it. So yeah, then there were two other books that I did use in 2023 and that is these. This is my reading journal and my K-drama journal. I will be very quick with these, I promise. I did not set these up until, apparently not even set them up, um, until later in the year to try out if I wanted to use them. So I did the first one in June. So I would have my calendar, I'd have the books that I was reading and when I read them. I read a lot in June. And then if there were any quotes that I really liked, then I stuck a picture of the book, gave it my star rating and theoretically wrote a review, which I did on some of them. This was one of my favorite reads of last year. If you haven't read it, I would highly recommend reading it. It doesn't actually say in it that she's autistic, but she totally is. And it was amazing, amazing. Um, and some of the quotes, like I wrote quotes, but, oh, brilliant. Um, and then I did it for July, but I realized I wasn't actually updating the review. So like I'd write down and I'd stick the sticker in, but I didn't actually update the review. So, um, and yeah, I could probably use this again. Like I, it's set, you know, it's got lots of pages left. Why won't my camera focus? Why does it just want to focus on everything except the book? Yeah, I could use this again. It's got lots of pages, but I'm not going to. I just don't. That's what I do. I leave it. We're leaving it. 
and this one is essentially the same thing but for k-dramas so i'm going to show you this one so this is my 2022 k-drama journal and i literally just gave a page to each program i watched a picture of the it's not the cover is it because it's not a book but like a picture of the poster the name when i started it when i finished it how many episodes and then i actually went back through and put what the watch time was for each one just because i was interested so these are all the k-dramas i watched starting in february of 2022 all of us are dead forecasting love and weather business proposals start up tomorrow loved that one 25 by 21 made me ball doom at your service was one of my favorites and it's completely underrated but i love him her private life hometown cha 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 our beloved summer <clears throat> why her remarriage and desires extraordinary attorney woo also one of my favorites i'm sure you know why today's webtoon cafe nimmendang love him so loved that it's okay to not be okay oh my god uh, Once Upon a Small Town, Because This Is My First Life, When the Camellia Blooms, Little Women, Loving Contract, Revenge of Others, One Spring Night, also one of my favourites, Squid Game, yeah, I was late to that, wasn't I? But yeah, Squid Game, and then we finished that in January, The Interest of Love, so this is my year in review, so in 2022 I watched 25 K dramas, 371 episodes, which worked out to 409 hours of k-drama and I'm, I, I, I know that I've watched more than that. So 2023 we watched Sweet Home, we watched this movie Project Wolf Hunting. Um, if if you like k-drama I only wanted to watch it for the lead guy because he's the lead guy from Doom at Your Service. We may have gotten a terrible copy of it and the subtitles were not great. I'd quite like to watch it again with better subtitles but I did like it. The Fabulous Nevertheless, The Glory, superb. Love to hate you. I want to say I didn't like this, but I did, but I don't really remember much about it. Glitch, weird, not bad. Dr. Cha, Alchemy of Souls, oh my goodness, loved it. And also there's a guy in this who seems to be in everything. And it took me, like this is, what, 2000, more than 2,000 hours of K-drama, 2,000 minutes, sorry, of K-drama. It took me until maybe the second to last episode to recognise that he was the ba one of the bullies from All of Us Are Dead. So, he's a good actor. Howlbound, excellent. Good Bad Mother, excellent. Kill Boxing, good film. Crash Course in Romance, another one that I loved at the time but don't really remember. King the Land, got a double page spread so that I could put some, I was going to put quotes, but I literally just printed this quote out. I'm showing you. You you could, don't have to watch this if you don't want to. It's, uh, what will you do with all these? As long as you aren't hurt, it's okay, because she broke some stuff. And then he leaned in and said, do I have permission? And until she nodded, it just, mm, mm, mm. Consent, baby. Lies hidden in my garden. Weird. Revenant. Excellent. Celebrity, My Lovely Liar, I really liked that. Uncanny Counter, I watched one and then straight into season two. Destined With You, I really enjoyed that. Happiness, one of my favourite zombie ones. Song of the Bandits, loved that. Moving, I love that too. Duna, was alright. The Matchmakers, thought it was good. Castaway Diva, also one of my favourites. Daily Dose of Sunshine, another favourite. Vigilante and Sweet Home Season 2 and then this is Death's Game which I started in 2023 but I don't think I finished it till 2024. That's why I haven't actually finished filling it in. And then that's it. You will notice there are zero reviews because I just forgot. If I didn't, if I don't write a review right away I just don't write one. But looking at the picture and when I watched it reminds me of what it was. So yeah that is my last k-drama journal from 2022 and that's it that 2022 2023 and that's it that is all my planners i have used while i've been gone in this incredibly long video um i'm not gonna leave loads of links below because there's too much stuff if anybody particularly wants to know where something is from please ask and i will try and figure it out um 
But yeah, I'm so sorry this is so long. I feel like I should have cut this into two parts. Um, which I might still do. Uh, yeah, but that is that is my massive stack of planners that I used over the past two years while I was gone. And I will film my current stack of planners to show you how I am going through them, how the first half of this year has turned out, because who knows what the second half of the year will bring, you know, probably change things up again. Um, but yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Um... I don't really know how to end. Part of me wants to be like, please like and subscribe because it helps my channel if you do. But I don't, I don't, I feel like, um, I feel weird when I say that. So I'm gonna go. Thank you so much for watching. And yeah, I will see you all in the next one. Bye.